We did a, a study in Olmstead County looking at the incidence of C. difficile infection. Many people have done similar studies recently in the United States, but what we wanted to do was use the resources of the Rochester Epidemiology Project, which captures both hospitalized and non-hospitalized patients. Um, as far as we know, most of the other studies, if not all of them, looked at just hospitalized patients. So we were wondering what percent of overall cases would be missed by just looking at hospitalized patients. And, and that's what this study looked at, the community acquired compared to the hospital acquired cases. It's a, an infection of the colon, and it's an interesting infection in that most people, if they get the bug in their system, it doesn't get a chance to cause an infection, it just passes through. In some people, for whatever reason, the bug is able to take up place in the colon and cause an infection. Um, it is increasing in incidence. Uh, many studies in the United States and elsewhere have shown that. And there's a, a new variant of the bug, a new strain that's particularly severe. So we're seeing an increase in severe cases as well. So it's got everyone's attention. We think of it primarily as a hospital-acquired bug because that's where most of the research is done. Hospitalized patients get it because they tend to be older patients, they're sicker for whatever reason they're in the hospital, and more likely to be exposed to antibiotics, which is one of the major risk factors for getting the infection. I think the key message is that physicians are usually attuned to this possibility if they're seeing a patient in the hospital with infection, with, with diarrhea and abdominal pain, but they may not think of it in the outpatients. So the key is for doctors and patients to be aware you can get this infection even if you're an outpatient.